What is going on? Welcome back to Shed Built. In this episode, we're building a center console. So if you were hoping for a how-to video on how to make a center console, this is definitely not the one for you. And if you're a chippy, nah, no good. Just leave now. I'll see you next episode because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm basically just going to wing it. I'm going to take a couple of measurements. Got the level here. I want it to basically come from here above the gear stick flat all the way back with a little base back here for a center console fridge to sit on. And we've also got the handbrake here to worry about as well. So it kind of has to do a little dog leg around the handbrake so you can still get your hand in there. And believe it that but yeah using the ram board i'm just going to make it out a couple of templates because you see here we've got this little hump that we have to go up and over but once we've got the sides sorted out the top half should be pretty easy and then we should be able to fly through it maybe all right so i've got my first template cut out i didn't film any of it because there's a lot of back and forth a lot of trial and error but you can see here it goes up over the hump comes right back i'm going to put a 45 degree angle up on the back there so it kind of smooths out as it comes back down the back uh, I've also put a couple of scores in the board itself because I want it to come around here and back out so it's not just a straight line right the way through. I think it's a little bit better. But it's all in there fitting pretty tightly. So now I'm going to trace it out on some 12mm MDF. Um, yeah, I'm no good at woodworking, but MDF's what I know. It's nice and straight, it's easy to work with. So I'll trace this out, cut it out, and then we'll put it back in. <laughs> So I've got both the side wings here cut. You can see it sits nicely on the floor down there. A lot of trial and error. It's rough as guts. <laughs> you can see these nails here. So ugly, but it's holding in there. It's all right. Once the glue dries up a little bit more, it should be pretty solid. I was going to connect the back piece through there, but it's pretty big, not going to lie. So it's going to be pretty difficult to get it in there. So if I leave that back open and just brace it through the center here, I should be able to just slide it in like that. Uh, you can kind of see where I'm going with it now. It's going to be flat on the top here, a couple of drink holders. I've got the center console mounted up here now. It's at a good height. It's almost like another little armrest. So I'm happy with this. Um, next, I'm going to brace the centers and then sheet the top and then cut the hole for the gear shifter. And then we'll also have to make up another boot that'll tie in back down to this flat plate here. And I'm also going to bring it up on an angle like this to meet it up with the bottom of the dash here and then put a little switch panel on the little angled piece through here. Yeah, we're getting there, it's rough as guts. Keep on going. So we're starting to get somewhere now. I've got the shifter boot all cut out there. I've got plenty of clearance. I've got this top plate mounted completely now. It's glued and nailed. I was going to leave it just like this, just send it like this, put a couple of drink holders in, wrap it. But this space here looks pretty underutilized. So I'm going to add a little bit of an angle to it through here to angle up and put some switches on using this cheap little. Wow. Using this cheap little angle finder, found the angle that I wanted and then transferred that onto a CAD template and cut it out of MDF. You can see here, we now have a nice tight fit. You can see what I'm talking about a little bit now. So you can see there the angle comes up like that. Mount a switch panel in here 
and that corner there will be nice and tidy. But we're gonna move on, make the face plate for that. I still don't know if I'm gonna incorporate that into the mainframe or unbolt that somehow when it's all said and done, because I don't know if I'm gonna actually get it in there if this is mounted to the bottom. But we'll see how we go. All right, so I've assembled this angled switch panel piece. I don't really have a name for it, but that's what that is. I was gonna order a new switch panel, just something cheap with some rocker switches, but I remembered, and you guys might remember, from episode one, this was actually the switch panel that I had in the previous center console for the Troopy. And I've actually got two of them. I don't know why I've got two of them. I must have got them cheap. They're from Super Cheap Auto. I don't know if they still make them. I bought them years ago, but they have inbuilt relays. They're just a switch on and off, just with a touch, has a voltage read out there so i'm just going to run this it fits in there nicely i made myself a little template here so i'm going to mark it out on that transfer it over cut it out and then we can install this onto the main center console piece and then we can start wrapping it All right, so I've got the angled piece there for the switch now mounted onto the console. It's definitely a lot harder to get in and out of the vehicle now, but we get there. I also went down and bought the cheapest router I could find. So we're onto something here. I've been giving it a little test along here, just rounding over these edges. I'm gonna run around the entire perimeter, especially up here and then back around. So when we wrap it, it'll be a nice smooth transition and something for you to be able to see the seams so i'll continue on with this routing and i'll get back to you soon well that routing actually didn't go too bad it worked well it did what it needed to rounded over all these edges quite nicely it's all pretty tidy so now i'm working on this infill panel here and because i want it to be removable because I'm going to mount certain different electronical boxes through here such as the UHF, uh, the exhaust controller. I'm going to make this panel here removable and to do that I've cut up some little strips here. You can see these lines on the side there. That's where I'm going to attach these into and then using some of this thick heavy duty Velcro I'll be able to attach that onto the top of those strips and pull it off. I've also given myself Lots of allowance for the foam and vinyl. Once this is all said and done, hopefully it'll be a nice snug fit with all of it there. So I gave myself a bit of allowance for that. So now I'm gonna glue and nail these onto here and then I can start cutting some holes for some cup holders. All right, so we've made this top plate now. It's removable, you can see those little tabs in there. That'll slide in like that. So now that that's done, we're gonna start mocking up some of the accessories. I've got these cup holders here that were in the previous center console, which you may remember. And I was gonna mount them side by side like this because most of this room up here is taken by the console fridge. But I think I'm gonna move this one back here, this one here in line. And then I've got some accessories here. This little um, socket mount, which will probably go in here in front of the switch panel. And then I've also got some little down lights, which I'm gonna put on the sides here. I still have to mop them up inside the car. But I'm gonna wire these down lights to the door opener. So when you open the door, these lights will come on and get a bit of a courtesy light down at your feet. And they're chrome. So I'll let you guys guess what color they're gonna be painted. I'll mark out this and we'll put the console back in the car, mark out where I want everything permanently and then start cutting them out and mounting them.
Okay, so I've fitted up all the accessories now. You see here, I've got the little courtesy lights, the outlets, switch panel, and some cup holders. And now it's time to move on to something that I've not been looking forward to. So we obviously need to wrap the console in something. I'm not just gonna leave it in bare MDF. We're gonna give sewing a go. This is definitely a tool that's never been used in the shed here before, but we're gonna give it a go, see what happens. Got a sewing machine, got some gray vinyl, a bit of black vinyl. Gray's obviously for the console, for the main base, and then gonna use a bit of black to make a shifter boot. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. Like I said, I've never done anything like this before, but it's just money, right? If it doesn't work out, we can always just, I don't know, paint it or something. Got a bit of contact adhesive, some consumables. I'm gonna give it a test run. I bought way too much material here than I need, but I'm gonna give lots of test runs, see what happens. I'm gonna use a French braid, I don't know, French, something French, French sew for all the seams. And then we're gonna use the same for the shifter boot. I'm gonna fire it up now, unbox it, have a little test run and see what happens. One eternity later. So I think I've almost wrapped my head around how this thing works. Been doing a fair few tests here. Pretty confident that we might be able to get something that looks half decent. But now my dilemma is how to transfer it over. Do I either make out a template out of cardboard or the RAM board and then transfer that over to the vinyl, cut it out and put my allowances on there? Or do I lay over the vinyl, trace that out and then just send it from there? I think I'm leaning more towards the template. It's gonna take a hell of a lot longer, but I think that's the way forward. All right, so some time has passed and it, we're actually almost doing it. It's, it's starting to look like something. It's pretty rough, not gonna lie. Get down, well, it looks good from afar, but it's far from good. It's obviously on there pretty loose. I've only done the one side. See there, it's all open. I'm still gonna do the other side. I'll give you a quick rundown of how I've been doing it. I'm not gonna give you a tutorial on how to sew or anything, because there's a million of them on YouTube and I've probably watched every single one of them. So you can go watch them if you're trying to do something like this. But basically what I've been doing is getting the RAM board, placing it over the top, wherever I need to mark and cut out. So I've been making a little template, transferring it over to the vinyl, cutting it out, adding about 25 mil clearance either side as you can see there been making some transfer marks too and then sewing those together and then doing the double French seam I think it's called but I'll get into the other side piece and I'll show you a bit more in detail how I've been doing it but that's a basic rundown of how I've been doing things still got to add the foam on the back and cut out all the holes for the switch panels and stuff but it's almost starting to look like something and I'm pretty sure we're almost done with the sewing side of things. I don't even feel much of it because I really had to concentrate and was focusing on what I was doing and sewing machines playing up is straight up not a good time. But I think we're done. Uh, you can see here, we've got it all tidied up away pretty nicely. It's obviously pretty loose at the moment. I've went and got some foam. So what I'm gonna do now, using the most expensive spray adhesive I've ever purchased in my entire life. I'm gonna spray a bit of glue on the back of this and then line the entire back of this vinyl here. And then we can start sticking it onto the base, cut the holes, add the accessories, and we're done.
not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that. It uh, needs a bit of heat through here. That should get a lot of these crinkles. And once the, you see once the cup holder goes in, straightens out a lot of it as well. Same with the switch panel. When we get that in there, we'll straighten out a lot of it. It's just where there's holes in the back, it's quite loose. Other than that, it's pretty damn good. Looks nice and clean. Still gonna cut out the center one here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the holes for all the accessories and a couple of screws on either side. And then we can start looking at the top plate through here, wrapping that the same way we've done everything else, except I won't have to sew it. And then it should be done. So all the accessories are installed now. They're obviously not wired up yet, but they're all finalized. I've also wrapped this cover plate here. So now this is ready to go. I still need to cut out the hole. But what I'm gonna work on now is I've got a bit of scrap vinyl here. And what I'm gonna do is make a little pull tag to go underneath here. So obviously once this is inset onto the base plate here, it'll be a little tag. You can just pull it out and undo the Velcro. So I'm working on this now and it should be nice, quick and easy, but who knows. All right, and it is back in the car. Here's that little pull tag I just made up. It's actually nice, quick and easy. See there, it just pulls up. You've got the Velcro strips installed down the bottom there. So it just sits in and then pops in there nicely. It's nice and snug. Uh, what I've also done is cut out the hole for the shifter boot and using a bit of quick maths, I've worked out, well, hopefully worked out that that template here is about the size I need for the shifter. So I'm about to cut that out of some black vinyl, sew that up, get it in, and then I think we're done. Wow, 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 wow. We are done. It's not bad, if I do say so myself. Pretty happy with it, first time sewing. Getting the job done. It's nice, I think it ties into the dash nicely. It's almost the same color, almost. We've mounted the console fridge, it's at a good height. Rest my elbow on it, change gears nicely. And we've got a little bit of storage in there too. I still haven't mounted it to the base yet, because I still don't know how to. Uh, we've also got the little pull tab here. Pull that up. We've got a bit of storage and some space to mount some control boxes. You can see there I've run the wire for the exhaust and that comes back down, fits in snug. We've um, got the cup holders, the little USB outlets and the cigarette outlet. The nice switch panel came out pretty good. I'm glad that I added that little step in for the switches. Shifts nicely. Shifter boot came out all right. It's a bit loose up the top here, but I can live with that. It's not bad, but we are done. Oh, also got the lights in there, courtesy light. You can see here at my feet when you, at night, open up the doors, bit of courtesy. So that is it, job done. All right, and that is it for another episode. Now, like I said, I'm pretty stoked with the way it turned out. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely not perfect, but it's not bad. Now stick around for next week's episode, like, subscribe if you haven't already, you know the deal, and I will see you next time. Cheers for watching.